Hello Church, I would like to start by sharing today one of the songs that I've been thinking about. It's a worship song that it was popular back in the early 2000s, but I think the meaning is something relevant now uh, and, and always. And the song goes and says, open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to lift you up in praises. What I like about this worship song is that the singer, the artist, is asking God in a in an intimate way to open up his heart, to open up his spiritual eyes, to see him, to see what God is doing in his life. And that's a prayer that I think we can all benefit from. Asking God, God, can you open up my spiritual eyes to be able to see you, to be able to see you and first give praises for what you have done in my life, but for what you are doing through me and in me. Asking God to open up our spiritual eyes, it's always a good thing because it, we can understand maybe scripture better and the message that God is sending uh, for us or to us. But also, when we ask God to open up our spiritual eyes, it could be a great way for us to come back and fix our eyes on Jesus because we may be distracted or we may have, we may be paying attention to something different than, than God's presence. This reminds me of uh, the story from Luke chapter 24. There's these two men who are uh, going from Jerusalem to the next village. Uh, by then, it, the Bible tells us in this chapter that Jesus uh, has died, resurrected, and uh, his body is not in the tomb anymore. So as these two men are walking to the next village and recollecting on the events that happened a few days ago, Jesus appears to them or joins the walk. The Bible also tells us that these two men do not recognize that it's Jesus with them. So they exchange conversations, they exchange verses from the Bible, and then when they get to the village, Jesus is invited by these two men to stay and eat. And Jesus says yes, and this is where our story continues from Luke chapter 24, verse 30. To 32 and it says as they sat down to eat he took the bread and blessed it then he broke it and gave it to them suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him and at that moment he disappeared they said to each other didn't our hearts burn with us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scripture to us and it caught my attention that these two guys were so interested in the events, in the conversations, that they didn't fully recognize Jesus and the scripture and the message that he has for them. And that's something that it can happen to either one of us. Sometimes we're so focused into our professional lives, our family lives, our social lives, that we forget to pay attention to what Jesus is teaching us and showing to us. So what I wanna bring to you today is hopefully we can go back to fix our eyes on Jesus, but we can go and ask Jesus to open up our spiritual eyes. These two men, uh, uh, it says in, here in the Bible that their, his, their eyes were open once he broke bread and prayed for them. And the idea is that we can ask God in advance, open my spiritual eyes to see the way you see, to uh, uh, perceive things the way you do. And to have that connection uh, with God, it will be uh, something amazing. So I just ask you to uh, go pray and ask God, uh, to open your eyes to see him. And the same thing goes for me. We'll be praying, I'll be praying that we can both ask God to see him and open our eyes and our spiritual sight to see what God wants us to see. Amen.